Okay, we have this cool jalapeno character from Plants vs. Zombies, and he's really fun to draw because we don't have any straight lines. He has tons of angles, and so you'll see me use my pencil to check the angle. Sometimes I'll hold that up to the screen so that I can get the original jalapeno that I'm looking at, get those angles correct. And so um, once I get the body shape as close as I want, that I'm happy, I'm going to throw on this big circle for the eye. It's almost dead center on that head. And then I'm dropping down a small eyeball. I love Plants vs. Zombies characters for this reason. And um, that one comes quite low and it hangs lower than the left big eye. So make sure you get that proportion as close as you can. And then the distance between the two eyes will help as well. And notice that that right eye hangs outside the edge of the body. And then the mouth, um, I try and get that angle as close as I can. Make sure that opening is nice and wide on the right side. And on the left side, I line up the edge of the mouth with the left side of the eyeball. Now, um, the top of the pepper has this nice stem. The stem's quite shallow, and then it goes into the long part of the stem. And that just curves slightly similar to the bottom of the pepper. I could call it the tail. And then as soon as I get these proportions close, I can start throwing in some details. And a really good trick is to just stop and step away and hold your paper up to the screen and just compare the two and see if you you need to make any adjustments with the width of the head and where it gets really narrow for the tail. Um, those things will help you when you're drawing before you jump into details. And the problem with that, jumping into details too soon, is then you're committed, it's hard to erase, you feel like you can't, and then it's not accurate. Okay, and for this section, I'm just um, with a really nice sharp tip pencil. I'm comfortable with my lines, so I'm going to go over and darken them, make them nice and strong since this is um, an animated or cartoon type character. Noticing though that the top lip needs to jet more into the bottom eyelid, so I'm making that adjustment, constantly, constantly referencing to the original image as I'm drawing this. And so once I go in and I'm comfortable and confident with my nice thick lines, I can start adding um, more details. So I needed to adjust that eyeball. I noticed that it wasn't as good of a circle shape as I wanted, so I fixed that real quick. Now this part's up to you. I kind of like how they have different values sectioned off into shapes, and so I'm just gonna go in and recreate these shapes so that I can shade the different values. Um, this would be a really fun study to use colored pencil. I just decided to do um, a shaded version. And again, I outlined the shapes, but you could just freehand shape this and not worry about these shapes. Now I'm gonna block the teeth in and just looking at the basic shape, how they come out past the mouth on the bottom, how they don't quite line up with the top. And then I'm looking at the negative space that we will shade in later really dark and that helps me with the shape of the teeth. They do not need to be accurate and perfect to the original I always feel. So now I'm just gonna go through with my sweet little mechanical pencils and add some values. Enjoy watching it, enjoy shading it, enjoy drawing it. This is a really fun sketch.